Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Salute. We've got these, they're actually orange squash, but we thought they looked like... Um, Cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Mocktails. Because today we're, very we're getting on a fictional jet plane, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> so today we thought we would film our ultimate travel bucket list. So this is our lifetime travel bucket list. Places we definitely want to go. Fingers crossed, in our lifetime. Yeah. This is our top ten places. We love travelling and uh, we've been fortunate enough to visit lots of amazing places but these are the places that we still need to tick off yeah and um someone actually requested this so thanks so much for the suggestion because we were like yeah we definitely want to film this yeah and it got us really thinking and it made us note down those places didn't yeah. it? yeah we kind of share the same some of them are more orientated to each of us mm -hmm. but we both want to go because obviously if the other person wants to go i want to go because it'll <laughs> make you happy <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm coming too. Yeah, if you're going, I'm coming. <laughs> so, number one, we're going to put this in. We are slightly cheating here. Um, but if you watch our videos, you must be very well aware that we are massive, massive Disney fans. Yeah. <laughs> We've been very fortunate to visit Disneyland Paris and Disney World Orlando. And we're actually going in June, which I've said too many times. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's too exciting. <laughs> but... Um, we also want to visit all the other Disney parks. Yeah. So Tokyo Disney, Shanghai Disney, Disneyland California. That's really high on my list because that's the original Disneyland. Yeah. Um, we were chatting yeah. the other day, weren't we, about we'd love to do three or four weeks. Yeah. Uh, we were saying started off in Florida, but then we thought, you know, maybe spend a couple of weeks in a different place. Maybe Disney California and then go somewhere else. That'd be amazing. So yeah, number one on our list is to just complete all the Disney parks and yeah, see the differences. And... Yeah, the different rides. I mean, there's a, oh, where's the Tron ride? Is that in Tokyo or is that Shanghai? I'm not sure. One of them. They've got a Tron ride and it looks really brilliant. And I really want to go on that. They're very high tech, I think. I think the Shanghai Disney is very, very high tech. Yeah. Let me know which one it is. Number two on our list, there's going to be a little bit of a theme where it's a theme for two of the destinations. Mm -hmm. I'm a massive Elvis Presley fan and one of my favourite Elvis films is Blue Hawaii and one of my favourite Elvis concerts is Aloha from Hawaii. So guess where I want to go? Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I've just love the picturesque look of it, the scenery. The, I mean, we've got a little plaque that says... Uh, life's better when you. Oh yeah. Is surfboard. it when you surf or is it when you sing? It's when sing. you sing, but it's got it's got a surfboard on it. Um, and I've always wanted to try. I'm surf. gonna be awful at it, but I always want to fancy <laughs> trying surfing. Maybe the bodyboarding where you just lie down on it. <laughs> You're already falling down. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, Hawaii it just looks so special. It, yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, obviously the weather. Yeah. And it looks quite like a fun place. Mm. I, I don't know too much about Hawaii, um, so let us know if you've been. But it looks fun, you know, you can wear the, uh, the what lei. they called, the lei. Yeah. Do a bit of... Bit of hula. Hula dancing. Rock. A hula baby, rock. <laughs> and also Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> looks fantastic in Lilo and Stitch, Hawaii. <laughs> and the, uh, the people seem really lovely. Like, obviously, I've never been. But mm. it looks like a really friendly place. Yeah, I'd love to go to Hawaii. So number three is one for me, but I've, I've convinced you, I think. <laughs> it is Tokyo, Japan. I have yeah. always wanted to visit Japan. Um, I'd love to do Tokyo, and then I'd love to visit the surrounding areas as well. And um, there's just something so magical about it in my head. And it's so different from anywhere else I've ever been before. Um, so I just think it would be... The ultimate experience of just it's always been a what I dream about and one I always like picture visiting one day as well as being an Elvis and a Disney fan I'm a James Bond fan uh, and this is one of the places that's been utilized in James Bond movies uh, in particular you only live twice so I would love to go yeah. because I love visiting sort of Bond locations yeah so number four is Australia I would love to spend a good, I mean, ultimately, I'd love to spend a good few months there. 
Um, it's just somewhere where I've always wanted to experience, but also experience living a bit. Obviously, the weather <laughs> has so much going on. And not influenced in the slightest by the Michelax video where oh, they went yeah. and stayed over in Australia. It just looked incredible to like walk out to your beach, but then you've also got the city life of Sydney. And yeah, I would love to spend at least a month, a good month there. And you can surf. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on my surfing credentials yeah. that I've just gained from Hawaii and can use them again in Australia. I'm not the best flyer and I'm actually going to do a video on um, how I cope with flying, like tactics I have. So it would be a very big one for me to be able to do that flight as well. But I'm determined in my lifetime to do that flight and to experience Australia because mm. Um, I would just love, love to go there. I'm from Newcastle. I'm a big fan of bridges. Yeah. And there's a bridge in Sydney that looks very like the Tyne Bridge. And I, I went and tried to do a bit of research to find out which one came first because there's conflicting reports that the Sydney Harbour Bridge inspired the Tyne Bridge. And then oh, there's really? a report that the Tyne Bridge inspired the Sydney yeah. Harbour Bridge. I, I think it's Sydney inspired the Tyne Bridge. They are quite similar actually. But, yeah, it was really interesting trying to find out because I was like, well, well, what's the definitive answer? <laughs> and nobody really seems to know. And we'd have to climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Can you climb it, can yeah, you? Yeah, you can climb it. It's a, um, it's probably a lot higher, but it's a bit like the O2. Oh. Um, I think you, you, you um, wear the suit in. and you're strapped in and then you can climb it. So yeah, fingers crossed one day we will have a good chunk of time and money <laughs> and we will be able to visit Australia. Number five on the list, that Elvis connection is coming back in. Being an Elvis fan, there's one place I've got to go and that's Graceland. I've got to go and see the mansion, the house that Elvis Presley lived in for all of those years. I've got to go and visit the surrounding areas as well. Got to go to uh, Sun Records, to the Memphis Studios, where they've still got the microphone that was actually used by Elvis. I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash and Roy Orbison, and they also recorded there. But Graceland, they've left it the same way that he had it when he lived there, and the fact that he's buried out in the gardens of Graceland as well. Oh, yeah. It's just incredible, and uh, I've just got to go. I've got to do it. We'd also want to do an American road trip, wouldn't we? Yeah. Kind of Route 66, but alter it a bit so we could go to Graceland and yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be great. So number six is a place I don't know too much about, but from seeing people's photos, I just want to go. <laughs> and it is the Maldives. It looks like paradise. Paradise on earth. The beaches, how blue the sea is. You can also stay in those little huts that like hover across the water. You told me about the Maldives, so I went off and did a bit of a Google. Did and you? then, yeah, I found some pictures. Oh. I'll probably insert one now. And it's of a pier. And then mm. at the end of the pier, there's just these rows of huts and houses. That's just the ultimate <laughs> dream. To go for like a week or two weeks, um, hide your phone and literally just relax and just be surrounded by this gorgeous scenery. Yeah. It would just be amazing. Um, I also have this thing called the Glittering Sea. Oh yeah, you do about Which this. looks incredible. Um, I'll insert a picture here. And it's, yeah, it just looks like a sea full of glitter. <laughs> it, just, it looks like it's not on Earth. It, like, looks, it looks like so a giant nice. lush bath bomb. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven is somewhere that I got very close to when we worked abroad. Mm. We went to Sorrento. And that's one of my favourite destinations in Italy. And very close to there... It's somewhere that you've been and that you really want me to go to, and that's the Amalfi Coast. Yeah. So I've been, so it's a little bit of a cheat <laughs> to put on this list. But I want to take you. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, all the surrounding areas, so like Capri, which we went to, mm -hmm. Sorrento, quite near Pompeii as well. Um, but it's just beautiful. The Amalfi Coast is stunning. It's just full of pastel colours, like pastel houses. The beaches are beautiful. Um, it has a square full of restaurants, uh, Lemoncello. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, if you're looking for somewhere which is just completely picturesque. I would always recommend the Amalfi Coast. Yeah. Yes, I wanna, want you to experience it 
even though you've been very, very close. Yeah, very I just close didn't have it. enough time to, to get there. I love it when you've got those restaurants and you can just sit down and watch the world go by. Yeah, you could just spend the whole day just having like a bit to eat, a drink, yeah, yeah. and just watch watch people go by. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And lots of winding roads, you said. A lot of winding roads, <laughs> a lot of hills. <laughs> Definitely bring comfy shoes because there are a lot of stairs and a lot of like mismatched stairs okay. as well. <laughs> All that walking in Disney, I'm sure, has got us ready for yeah, any sort prepared. of hike. <laughs> so number eight is Mykonos in Greece, which is another kind of place that I have just seen on people's pictures <laughs> and just really <laughs> wanted to go. Instagram um, favourite. Yeah. Again, it's just beautiful. Um, it's, it's like white. It just looks so clean and white and um, sunny and, yeah, beautiful. You can do a lot so, of water sports, not just mm, surfing. Yeah. You can do other things. I want to go on a jet ski. Yeah. And maybe try the uh, what's it? The water skiing. A water yeah. skiing. I don't that know if good. I could do that one. <laughs> I'm a bit clumsy, me. I mean, you've skied before, so maybe you yeah, might have so the balance it might be for similar. it. <laughs> but I'd love to stay in like one of those beautiful white villas. Um, I love Greece. I've been to Corfu, and have I been anywhere else in Greece? I've been to Zanti. Um, oh, yeah, I've been to um, Kavos, which is in, like, the, most, <laughs> the most picturesque of places. Yeah, so yeah, I'd love to explore more of Greece and I think Mykonos is, is up there. Um, it'd be a lovely summer relaxing holiday. Yeah, we've been talking, we need one of those soon, we don't do. we? We do. We do a lot of um, adventure kind of busy city breaks or we do Disney, <laughs> which is definitely not relaxing. Amazing, but yeah, not relaxing. So I think one of these days we need to book a, a proper Lay actual on the holiday. Beach sort of holiday, yeah. Mm. So this is another one where we're slightly again. bending the rules. This is number <laughs> nine. Cheated. This is again Helena wanting to take me somewhere, but this is somewhere that I want to go and visit because I've seen it so much in popular culture, seen it in so many movies, so many television series. New York. So I've been, so again, I've cheated a little. <laughs> um, but I'd love to take you on a city break to New York. Um, we're big musical musical fans. Yeah. So to see shows on Broadway, it's just amazing. Also, all the touristy spots. I did a lot of them when I visited for the first time. Um, so when I go back, I'd love to go for a little bit longer. I went for five days before, so maybe if you went for a week or so, mm -hmm. and just kind of live as a New Yorker and kind <laughs> of experience the city as if you live there more than being yeah. a tourist. Obviously, you'd want to see a lot of the tourist bits. Oh yeah, yeah, you but couldn't also, cut those out. Yeah. I'd have to go. But also just waking up and like going for a New York breakfast in like the the diners and coffee, coffee, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would, I would love, love to visit New York with you. I'd love to go around Christmas time as well. I'd love to go in summer because the time I went before it was very, very cold. Um, so I'd like to experience like Central Park in the mm. sun. But I'd also like love to go at Christmas, like typical New York in the snow. <laughs> I'd prefer summer. <laughs> of course, I'm not fussy. I'll go whenever. <laughs> right. So we're up to number ten, our last one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is Iceland. Which, again, I think we started to kind of get the ball rolling for wanting to go to Iceland after we saw the Michelax vlog. Yeah, and then just after that, a lot of people who I know have been. Yeah. And have said that it's a really amazing experience. Mm, that, that's a cold one, though. You'd have to be get prepared. Oh, that's all right. You know, <laughs> I, I know, I know that one is. Obviously, see the Northern Lights. We've never seen the Northern Lights. So, fingers crossed, if we went, we would see them. I uh, know you can't guarantee it, can you? Mm, no. Um, but other than that, it just looks amazing. And I'd love to visit the Blue Lagoon they have there. It's What's kind that? of like a outside spa, big mm, lagoon. I love a spa. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. And yeah, just explore a bit. Go on a bit of an adventure. Um, again, it's somewhere really different from the UK and really different from anywhere else we've been, actually. Yeah, that um, would be like an adventure slash relaxing holiday, I think. Yeah. The kind of holiday we go adventure during the day and then you can like snuggle up with a book by the fire <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> <Nice>. So old. 
So that is our top 10 travel destinations. Hopefully we will start ticking a few off over the next few years and then we can add more because there, there are some which didn't make the cut but I really, really want to go to. Yeah, yeah. There's always, I mean, every day there's a place that might crop up, isn't there, yeah. that you might want to note down? There's a big wide world out there, isn't there? <laughs> big blue world. <laughs> So, yeah, let us know your travel recommendations of places that you've been or also places that you haven't been but want to go. We're always looking for new ones. And also our Disney World Orlando holiday is getting very near. And we're very, very excited. So, yeah, vlogs will start probably in the, like, the next month or so. So, yee! That's crazy. <laughs> so, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you on Monday for our next video. Bye! Bye! Bye.